and welcome back to my channel. It is another JMC Designs release day um, and this month's is a gorgeous Digi collection. I absolutely love it and I've wanted to colour it up since it came through um, but with one thing or another I haven't yet had the opportunity. So I am going to colour it up this evening and make a, a little project because um, the release day, I'm doing this the day before unfortunately, um, but I will be playing with this one again later in the month because um, this is possibly one of my favourite ones that she's done yet. Um, I love the Autumn All Spice, that was another favourite of mine, but um, this one is gorgeous because it is mushroom or toadstool themed and I love anything um, to do with mushrooms and toadstools. Um, so I absolutely adored this set. So these are the main images that you will get um, if you purchase um, these digi stamps. So starting off we start with Taya. This is Taya Tot um, and she's just super pretty holding her little flower in the air there um, and she's got that sort of really traditional shaped um sort of mushroom on, on as has her hat i really like her um and then we've got tessa tot holding her little balloon so she would be a, a really cute one for a, for a birthday card or something like that and um, then you've got tia tot um and she's holding a little tiny ladybug just there which i just that's super cute um, and then finally you've got Tilly Tot and she's holding the like dandelion clock. Um, so you could use these for, for lots of different um, seasons, depending on the colours that you colour them in. Um, you could do them quite autumnal. You could do them in lots of lovely rich reds and, and oranges. But you could also just, you know, go out there and, you know, do them in pinks and purples and blues. And, you know, um, you could make them whatever you want them to be to match your project. So I absolutely adore them. Um, there is also uh, the accessories pack. Now, I've printed it twice because um, I've got a project in mind. Um, so, obviously, it's sort of one half of this. Now, I've printed these quite small for my project, um, but that's the beauty of Digi Stamps. You can print them at any size you want. So, the little girls, I probably will go back and um, print them slightly smaller for my project, but so that you could see them and you could see the lovely detail on them. I just wanted them to be a little bit bigger um, for you. But these ones, um, yeah, I have printed them a bit smaller. So you've got the gorgeous um, toadstools or mushrooms. You know, you've got three different um, styles of those. A couple of really lovely flowers um, that, that match the theme. And then these absolutely adorable snails. They are just fantastic. I can't wait to colour those. They are super, super cute. Um, and then we've also got some um, sentiments, um, as always, with, there's a set of sentiments with it. So we've got, there's mushroom in my heart for you. Um, and I've just realised I've printed the wrong set because I have actually had the updated one. In the updated one that will be in the store, that actually does say in, not I. Um, that's my fault, I've printed the wrong set. Um, even a snail will eventually reach its destination. I'm doing things at my own pace and that's okay. Cutie pie, snail mail. It's the little things in life. Stop shrinking to fit places you've outgrown. Not everything needs to be perfect to still be wonderful. There are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. That would make a really lovely journal page sentiment. Um, so, again, you know, there's lots that you can do with these. You can, um, you can print them and die cut them. Um, you could do what I did last month and print them out um, and put them through a laminator with some heat reactive, some um, laser reactive foil if you've got a... Um, sorry, toner reactive foil, if you've got a toner printer, um, you could print these out onto some tissue paper so that you could um, sort of decoupage them onto things and, and the tissue paper then dissolves into the background. So there's lots that you can do with these um, really nice sentiments. So I'm going to um, go and colour up all my images. Um, like I say, I'll probably print these ones off a little bit smaller um, for my little project that I've got in mind. Um, and I will come back and show you what I've done when I have finished creating it. Okay, so I've done some colouring. Um, I've not got as much done as I'd, I wanted to. Um, time is ticking on. It is ten past ten the night before this is due up and I'm at work tomorrow. So unfortunately, I've had to change my plans somewhat. Um, now, as many of you know, it's been a bit of a chaotic week. So um, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not normally organised anyway, but I'm even less organised um, for this release unfortunately um, but like I say I, I was really looking forward to using this and I'd, I'd got some ideas in mind so I had prepped 
this which is a little just a little wooden um, birdhouse but it's got quite a quirky little shape to it I picked it up in the pound shop oh, I don't know last year maybe even the year before um, with the intention of altering it um, and it's just sat in my stash of alterations ever since so last night I um, it was of green um, I did give it um, a few coats of gesso last night in preparation um, but I just haven't got the time to to do everything that I want to do to do it well and I'd, I'd rather do it properly so I'm going to do this one at the weekend and I thought I would just come on and do a tag with you for now so um, I found this chipboardy sort of um, balsa wood type tag in my stash um, and I'd coloured my little girl in and I'd cut her out into a rectangle um, and then all I've done is I laid that down and just laid my tag on top so that it was evenly spaced either side um, and just drew down the side of it and um, on each side and then cut that and then what that does is when you go to lie it on on top of your tag it's sort of you, you you've got the right angles um, as it were for the top of your tag there so I've done that with that and then I've cut out a few of the little um, elements that I've, I've have had time to to colour up I've been and had a little route through my stash and found some bits that I thought might um, be fun to add in um, and I've got these heat embossed flowers and leaves and things um, and I found when I was searching through for that I knew I'd got this wooden tag somewhere and when I was searching through my um, drawer of wood bits I found this little um, wooden um, word belief which I thought she's like a little fairy isn't she she's like a little toadstool fairy so I thought that was quite appropriate really so I've also found out a piece of um, patterned paper it's actually from a Disney um, book that I got from the pound shop to do my niece's books for, for when they went to Disney. Um, now, I, that's the only time I'll ever really use Disney. Um, but I, I thought, well, I don't need to use the whole thing if I just use the red spotty bit, which will tie in quite nicely with the, the toadstool theme. Then it sort of uses up that paper without it so it doesn't go to waste. Um, but I'm still sort of using it for something I want. So, first things first, I'm going to um, adhere my tag to this piece of paper. I find that this is the easiest way to do it for me um, is to just um, put some glue, some tape, whatever, onto my shape. Um, so obviously in this case it's my tag, particularly if it's something that's um, intricate. I mean this obviously isn't, but if it if it's quite sort of specific um, shapes and sizes, unless you die cutting it, it's hard to get it perfect. So. I find this way works well for me. So just making sure that I only get the red spotty bit. And I'm just going to um, line that up on the paper. Give that a really good um, press. Just get my making things on the floor. Just get my bone folder on that. And just make sure that that's really, really well adhered. There we go. Pull my sleeve up. I end up with it in the glue, so as you can tell by the shadows, and as I've just said, I am crafting at night again. Seems to be the only time I have any time at the moment. Okay, so now all I'm doing is I'm just going to cut around the edge of this tag, uh, just with a pair of scissors. Obviously, you could do it with a craft knife on a craft mat, but given how clumsy I've been today, that's probably not a good idea. I've dropped more things than you care to think about. I managed to throw pineapple juice all over myself at work. It was thankfully there's nobody really in the dining room except me. Uh, I was <laughs> I just tell the whole world. Why not? I was eating my pineapple stick thing, and there was some pineapple juice in the bottom of the little packet that the pineapple stick came in. I absolutely adore pineapple, and without even thinking. I was listening to an audio book, and I think that's what it was. I was too busy concentrating on what was going on in the audio book. Um, without even thinking, I just upended the pineapple juice, meaning to obviously drink the pineapple juice, um, and I ended up wearing it instead. And I just sat there and thought, thank God the dining room wasn't full because it was quite embarrassing. Um, yeah, might do that one again. But it, that's just been my day from start to finish, really. I've been, I'm just looking for an ink. Um, I've been dropping things and oh just yeah although on the on the plus side i did manage to find my glasses that i lost um nearly two weeks ago i had a, a brain wave when i went to um 
it's one of the premises that I sometimes work in because I work quite agilely so I work in lots of different places um, and I went to one of them that I worked in just before I went on my leave I thought oh I wonder if I left them here went down to the room that I'd been working in and lo and behold there were they were nobody had nobody had moved them I was quite surprised that they were still there really after sort of nearly two weeks so that was a bit of good luck okay so I've put my um, paper on if you've got any little bits that you know didn't quite catch with the glue just chuck a bit more glue on stick it down um, now obviously um, it's got a hole in it up the top there for, um, for your trim or your you know your cord whatever it is you're going to use um, organized as ever reaching for a foam pad um, all I sort of do is I push through from one side so I know where the hole is and then I just put my my bradle in and just sort of do that because I don't have a crocodile I've got hole punches but um, they're not you know particularly extravagant ones so they wouldn't um, go all the way through the balsa wood but actually you can see that you, you get quite a nice neat finish just doing that to be honest um, if you've got deep eyelets you could obviously chuck an eyelet in there as well but um, to be honest I haven't got time to, to look for the eyelets tonight so I won't um, my intention was then to pop her in the centre there oh, she's just so cute um, but I'm thinking it might be quite nice to ink around the edges I'm just going to put just a little tiny bit of that red around the edge of the image I don't want lots I don't want it to look super distressed but I do just want a little tiny red edge to it because I think then what I'm going to do is um, put some pom-pom trim behind it. So this is just pom-pom trim off of AliExpress. So just make sure I've got enough to go around, which I have. So I tend to start on a side because um, you're... I find my, the eye is not as drawn to it if you start on on a side. Um, and all I'm going to do is my hot glue gun has been um, warming up off to the side there. And I'm just going to put it on so that the pom-poms are just... You don't see the actual trim so much as just the pom-poms like that. Um, and I find that you're probably not going to be able to see this very well because it's quite fiddly. So make sure that you get it um, lined up right. And I can't talk and line things up at the same time, especially not today. Today is not the day for it. Okay, and that's going to go around like that. So bead of glue there and then I'm just going to literally pull that round and just sort of sit it how I like it you know particularly on the corners and then again now I'm not going to be able to do a whole run at once on this side because it's quite long it's quite cool in the conservatory tonight so my glue is um, setting quite quickly my hands are dry, so they're sticking to everything. I've had really bad contact dermatitis this week. I think because I, I did a really big spring clean um, when my daughter was poorly. Because um, I couldn't really concentrate on anything. Um, you know, once she was back home and whatnot. So I've been bleaching bathrooms and bleaching kitchen cupboards and things. And it's made my hands really dry and... Uh, keep putting my hand creams on but I don't know, it doesn't seem to be making any difference I tried to tell my husband that it was because I was allergic to work and I probably uh, should just be a housewife instead but he didn't fall for it there we go there we go 
nearly there because this is the most fascinating thing for you to watch watching hot glue dry mildly more interesting than watching paint dry Ow. hot glue on the fingers that'll help my dry hands no end just pick that off not sure if it was hot glue or skin i'll just take it off right snip that bit off there and then i'm just going to put another dot of glue just behind there and I'm just going to pull that nice and tight and oh, burn myself again because I like doing it. It's fun. There you go. So that looks really, really cute. I like that. Then I'm going to get some of my um, faithful cardboard packaging, some of my whiskers packaging. Not mine, obviously. I don't actually eat whiskers. The cat's whiskers packaging. Um, and I'm just going to cut a piece off. You won't see it, so it doesn't need to be, you know, terribly accurate. Um, more than anything, I just like to get it so that it's going to, you know, properly support the image that I am popping up. Once I've done that, I'm just going to chuck some hot glue on the back of there. Like that. And there we go. Down it goes. Glue strings everywhere. Oh, I think I should just go to bed. There we go. Then I can layer that on top of the tag. Now, because of the amount of trim that I've put on, and because this is, um, it's not a huge um, tag, you can't actually see an awful lot of the tag. So I'm now tempted, in my wisdom, to make that the back of my tag and make this the front of my tag. I don't like that pom-pom. It's annoying me. It's like too fluffy. Can you have a pom-pom that's too fluffy? Yes, that pom-pom is too fluffy. That's annoying me. It's annoying me. Put a little bit of glue and just... That'll do. That'll do, Sarah. That'll do. Right, I think what I'm going to do is grab um, a Spectrum Noir marker um, and I'm just going to go around the edge of this tag because obviously you do still see a little bit and it's nice to have that um, bit of a definition but it just feels like a waste of that really pretty patterned paper to be honest um, and if I put it on the other side I can put a smaller sort of white panel in the middle which can be used as the, um, the sentiment tag. Um, and you still get to see the, the, the sort of pretty paper around that. So there you go. And as you can see, there's only half a plan formed in my mind, which is, you know, not unusual for me. There we go. And whilst I'm here, I'm going to just go around the edges. that's the nice thing about balsa wood is it does color really nicely with alcohol markers it takes takes the color really well so you don't you know you don't need to stain it you don't need to paint it you can just you know 30 seconds with a colored pen and and you're there sort of thing so you can now still just see that little bit of red and you've got that little bit of definition um but um on the back side now that's all sort of got a nice finished um, look to it and I'll just put a small I've got some really nice lace edged ones so I'll probably put a small lace edged one on the back there with my two from um, and then I'm going to use this side to mount my image so again just um, plenty of hot glue um, generous with the hot glue um, hot glue is one of those things that I don't necessarily trust it in terms of um, longevity so I don't tend to use it on things like mini albums or um, you know when you've got like special special cards for like big birthdays and things I tend not to use it on those because um, I don't always trust that it's gonna 
um, stand the test of time. But, you know, this is just a little tag that will go, um, you know, it'll go on a gift and it may or may not get kept. So um, I'm not overly worried if it, you know, I'm not making it with the intention of it sort of lasting forever sort of thing. So all I'm going to do now is with those little um, elements that I um, coloured from the set, I'm just going to sort of go over the back of them with a ball stylus just to give them a little bit of shape. Um, I'm not, you know, not going to any great um, pains with it. It's just to um, make it less flat, just to um, make it a little bit more dimensional. So that's those ones. Um, and if I wasn't going to be putting some hot glue behind this, which I am, um, but if but if I wasn't going to do that, I would spray them a little bit first because then I tend to find that if I spray um, my shapes before I um, shape them with the, the ball stylus, the shape tends to hold better. Um, and again, you know, you, you just get that, particularly if it's going to be going through the post or anything like that. You, it doesn't end up sort of being flat before it even um, gets to the, the recipient sort of thing. So I'll just so these are not the easiest to shape because I've used quite um, sort of thick cardstock because I've used um, Nina. Um, the solar white stuff because um, obviously I've used alcohol markers to colour it with so um, usually when I'm making flowers and things I use a slightly more sort of open weave um, not quite as um, good quality I suppose really paper but you can make them out of anything it doesn't really matter you can usually get some shape into you know even the thickest of card stocks you know and obviously the more time you spend working at it the uh, the more shape you'll you'll get in it so i am going to give my little snail a little bit of um shape as well just Ooh. don't want to go and cross eyed do i there we go ah oh, she's so cute right and then I've got to decide you know where I want all my bits and pieces so I quite like that one in that little corner there I'm trying to not overthink it I'm just gonna sort of go for it it's like I say at the end of the day it's just a little tag so there we go <laughs> she says overthinking it oh yeah oh yeah that's me right I'm really not sure I should be trusted with hot glue today after the day I've had it's probably not wise put another stick in I even get the glue stick in. It's time for bed. Oh. Just hot. There we go. Oh. Um, mm, I've got my little flowers. So, do I make it... That's actually quite cute. Actually not too worried that you can't see her little legs. I've got these really cute um, little foam mushrooms, but I think I'm going to save them for my um, birdhouse. I think they'll be quite cute on that. Uh, don't want my little scissors. On there. That in the wrong place. Jello. 
Do you ever have those days where you just want to just give up and go to bed? Yeah. I felt like that about half past nine this morning. Yep. That's quite cute. Let's see. This is why I save all the little um, bits. So obviously these leaves, they're, they're just in my sort of um, leaf bit box. And they're from when I've I've been doing something, you know, doing another project. And, um, you know, obviously just the bits that I didn't use or I've chopped into. And there's little bits, you know, little elements of it left. Um, I tend to keep them. Because they usually do come in handy at some point. Um... Particularly if you're sort of wanting to get something done in a in a bit of a hurry, so I'm just uh, popping a few bits and bobs out of there on. Um, yeah, the silly shadows of my husband dancing in the background, I'm trying to distract me. He's gone running away now, as I mentioned he was there. That's what you get if you're silly in my craft room. Okay, and then I've got the little word believe, and I quite like that there, but um, I want it to stand out more. So again, I'm going to go for a marker. Um, and I've got just a black permanent cheapy marker. I use it for lining the edges, for going around the edges of my stamps. Um, but it'll work just as well for this. So I'm just going to um, go over all my words. So just help it sort of stand out from the rest of the project because obviously uh, it was just sort of receding into the into the white background there a little bit too much so and then I want some sparkle on top of that So just with a Spectrum Noir glitter pen, just go over the top. Um, I could also heat emboss it with some um, mm, holographic, that's the word I'm looking for, holographic um, embossing powder. Um, but I can't be bothered, so I'm going to do that. Because it looks just as nice. Sometimes it's nice to have something a bit different. So that looks really blingy now which I love um, but I will want to bring some other black in so that it doesn't look um, odd um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down and just put something heavy on it a minute so that it holds it down and I've got some pretty black um, crystally things so I'm going to go and find those so I'll be back in a sec okay so um, I've glued that down Obviously, the glue's still a little bit wet at the moment, but it's had um, some stamp blocks on it just for a minute while I found my gems. Um, so that should now stay in place. Um, and I've got a couple of different types of the gems. I've got some that are like um, the anthracite type ones, which might be quite nice because of the, the sparkle that we've put on. Um, but I've also got some jet black ones as well. Um, but I think I like the, the anthracite ones, so I'm going to go with those. Um, and they're all different sizes, so um, again, that's quite nice because um, that little sort of mix can sometimes, the difference can be nice. So all I'm going to do is um, just chuck a few on. Um, I like it to be in odd numbers. Oh yeah, I like that. That's how I like it. So I will just pour the others back into the tub and chuck them everywhere because that's the day I'm having. But I didn't. Well done. 
Pardon me. Right, so I'm now going to just glue these on. There we go. That's looking so beautiful. I love it. Okay, um, and then as I've got my bling box out in front of me, or one of my 300 million bling boxes out in front of me, I might just see if I can find a couple of cute little um, gems for the centre of these flowers because you can never have too many gems. The one I want is eluding me. I saw a big yellow one in there just now and that's the one I want. Come out, come out. Yeah, found it. Got it. Oh yeah, I like that. Um, I'm going to pop this one on with a little bit of hot glue. Because it's cupped in the centre, sometimes I find that um, they don't... Um, you've got to hold them down for ages with the wet glue, like the tacky glue. Um, otherwise they don't sit in place long enough. Um I've got a slightly smaller one that I could put in there if I can sit it in. Mm -hmm. mm. Little red one. Oh yeah, I quite like the red one. We'll go with red. So, um, the last thing that I am going to do is just add some trim in up at the top there. Um, well, the last thing I'm going to do with it for tonight. Um, as I said, tomorrow, I'm not going to do it now because I've still got to um, upload this video and edit it and render it so that I can upload it to YouTube tomorrow. Um, so, I'm going to finish here for tonight. Um and get off and do that. But the last thing I'm going to do is just add some of this really cute sort of vine trim to the top of my tag um, as my hanging element. So I'm just going to snip a piece of that off and thread it through the hole. Not the biggest hole in the world, so it is tricky, but I will do it. I will do it. Um, so that's that. Um, I might just there's one other thing because I can't stop. So the final two bits that I just thought about was um, because it's pulled the pom pom a little bit there. I'm going to put um, this cute little bow just out of my stash. It came in a grab bag thing I got last year um so i'm just going to pop that on with a little bit of hot glue up there just to finish that top bit off and then um, while i was grabbing that out of my stash i s remembered i'd got them i saw these tiny little ladybirds the little wooden ladybirds that i've got um and they're really cute um i'm gonna put it down there on that leaf so i'm just gonna put a little dab of glue there and pop my little ladybird on there that's it. Get rid of the glue strings. And that's it complete. So let's move some of this mess out of the way. Ideally without knocking my cold tea everywhere. I won't be tidying this up tonight. That will be a uh, after work job tomorrow. So make a little bit of space so that we can have a look at it um, properly. And there we go. So that's the little wooden tag that I have made. It's got that really pretty spotty paper on the back. Um, and like I say, I will put a little um, laced edge label die cut on there with to and from on. Um, and then we've got our beautiful little um, image and the, the other images down the bottom here, which have got just that little bit of um, shape to them. The lovely wooden word that I've coloured and um, covered it in a bit of sparkle and glitter. And just a few jemmies here and there. Um, 
with the pom-pom trim around the edge and obviously our little bits of trim just finish it off um, and to say that you know that's a reasonably quick um, project brought together um, you know the colouring obviously took time um, and that's obviously why I've not been able to do the um, the little bird house because um, I need quite a lot of coloured images for that one um, but yeah I really like that I think that's super cute and I think that will look um, lovely on anybody's project if I give it away but it'll probably just end up hanging in my craft room like all the other things that I make and can't then bear to give away um, for fear of them being thrown in the bin so that's it um, I hope you enjoyed um, crafting along with me um, today I hope that you managed to do a little bit of crafting too I will leave the links for the other ladies in our um, design team in the description box below um, and I will also leave links to Julia's um, Etsy shop, her website um, and the um, Facebook group as well. So, you know, do come along and join us over there. Um, it's, a, it's a lovely group and there are um, other design team members who don't have YouTube channels who make some really fantastic and inspiring um, projects that you will be able to see over on, um, on that channel. Uh, on that Facebook group so I'll leave all of those descriptions uh, blah, 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 all of those links in the description box below it's time for me to go to bed so I will see you all again very very soon in the next crafty video bye for now